13. Back here with some more po Let's Play Pokemon trading card game. Uh, yeah, last time we defeated uh, two more of the Grandmasters here at the Pokemon Dome. Uh, we defeated Thunder Steve, you know, with his hat, and uh, Jack, the Iceman. And uh, now it's time for the last guy of the, uh, you know, basically the Elite Four of this game. <laughs> Rod. <laughs> Is your dick ready, Flood? Uh, sure, bro. Uh, let me check what deck we have here. Uh, what would be the most fair deck against him? Let me think. I guess this one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sorry, I had to do some thinking there. Alright, so let's see what happens here. Is your dick ready? Uh, but nope. Let's go. Then let's prepare the fight, begin the final duel. A one match duel for six prizes. All right, and it's time. And look at that hair. Anime style, Grandmaster Rod. <laughs> Legendary Dragonite deck, let's do it. All right, more epic music. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Magmar, Super Potion, good, good, okay. Now this guy, I wouldn't say he, well, I don't know, he might give you the most, most trouble. It just really depends on what kind of deck you're running. Lapras, oh boy. Ooh. <laughs> I might have chosen the wrong deck for this guy. I kind of forgot that he had Lapras, to be quite frank, but uh, let's check out some of the other stuff he's got out here. Yeah, Charmander, Magikarp, hmm, what's going on with that, right? Uh, let's just custom win him into uh, uh, Magikarp here. Obviously, with uh, Lapras, we take times two damage, so I'm gonna need some other Pokemon or something, or we're gonna be in trouble real quick here. All right, smoke screen. I kind of forgot he had Lapras, but you know that's Flail. Ah, he got it off. Okay, so that does 20 damage to us as well. Hmm, dilemmas. So, do I go for Smog and kill him? Well, that's risky. I mean, Lapras could kill me in one hit, so believe it or not, I think the strat here is to put in energy, super potion. Yeah, and we're gonna have to gamble, boys and girls. All right, let's do it. Ooh, that hurts. One card. Uh, if we get another Pokemon. No. Okay. All right, we'll just go with this for now, but uh, note to self, uh, we have to rematch him. Don't use fire Pokemon. <laughs> That's a bad idea, so. Ooh, man, he got that one off, too. So that's gonna do, yeah, 40 damage. Wow, Rod, wow. Eevee, honestly, that might really help us here, so. All right, put an energy on Eevee, and we'll take our first prize. So we're in the quote-unquote lead, but are we really in the lead? I would say not. Uh, anyway, energy, that's good. All right, here comes Lapras. I'm assuming he's gonna put another water on it. Yeah. Got his Dratini out. This could be bad. This could be bad. But I'll try to pull it back. Uh, do I have other colorless Pokemon in this deck? I'm not really sure, but uh, hmm. This is his only other water Pokemon left right now, so if we can get rid of it, we might be okay here. I don't know. It really all depends on luck, so Gengar's got Nice Pokemon, bro. Alright, Confused Ray, ooh. Oh, you got the hits too. Wow. That's rough. That, that sucks. Hmm. I really don't have any choice but to attack here, honestly. Okay, okay. At least we didn't hit ourselves. Wow, and we got the 30. Okay, okay. But ultimately, yeah, he's gonna water gun. I'm going to need another Pokemon stat. Uh, okay, okay. Hmm, do I risk it though? Do I risk quick attack again? That's the question. Uh, I'm sure. Oh, okay, thanks Eevee, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Another 10 damage? That's good. That does put him, that gives us a chance to KO it with the quick attack, so... Honestly, Eevee, you did really, really good in this 
fight. I appreciate it. I guess we got lucky with the draws there too, uh, getting another colorless Pokemon instead of a fire. That does help us. Oh, and we take it out. Sweet. Okay, that's... Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, Charmander. Let's do this, bro. Another Dratini. Uh, but yeah, Dratini isn't really a threat. Yeah, it's got Pound, and uh, if you check it out, that's the only attack it's got. So, obviously, my best advice in this uh, Grandmaster duel, yeah, take out his Dratinis, Magikarps, etc. Uh, while they don't really have too much energy, that's probably the best thing you can do. Uh, I will put this on Charmander, and we'll just quick attack, so... We're getting lucky. We're getting lucky with the heads. I mean, he might have a potion, though. He's got, like, six cards in his hand. Wouldn't shock me. Uh-oh. Professor Oak. Okay, here we go. He's pulling out the big guns now. What you got, Rad? Energy on King of Sky. Oh, just gonna pound? Okay. Honestly, I expected a potion there after he drew, uh, you know, seven cards in a row, but, uh... We'll take it, we'll take it. I'm honestly hoping he does send Kangaskhan in here because, uh... Oh, thanks. Aw, oh, another Dratini. Okay, okay. Garp, garp, garp. Alright. Another magic card. Another pound attack. Okay. I'm getting a lot of energy here for Charmander. Hmm. Let me think. I got Slash online. Hmm, and we've got computer search. Another 30 from Eevee. Wow, Eevee MVP. Wow, MVEP? I get it. Ah, ah. Tackle. Pasha. Alright, alright. And this is a water Pokemon, so, hmm, gamble. Hmm. But, you know, this is his only other water Pokemon. So to be quite frank, uh, what I'm going to do here is computer search for Carmelian, who's hopefully in the deck. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. That's a close one, that was a close one. Okay, so Carmelian. And let's retreat to uh, Lovely Eevee here. And all we need to do is slash this thing. Yeah, no Gyarados for you, buddy. <laughs> and yes, uh, spoiler, she does have Gyarados, so watch the flippity flam out. Alright, Kangaskhan's gonna go fetching. That's fine. Ooh, nice draw. Okay, so, I mean, basically you get a free card here, so... Matter of fact, let's take eight. Let's take eight. Okay, we're really... Man, Eevee. Eevee coming in clutch. We're really turning this duel around. Like, if we win this, you know, when this guy's got basically super effective Pokemon on us, like Lapras, <laughs> hey, bro, that'll be... That's some pretty good uh, luck, honestly. Okay, we got another Charmeleon, which, honestly, I think I am going to start pumping up. Uh, let's go with... No, let's save the fire. In case I want a flamethrower. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's double call us this Charmander. Okay, okay. And Slash. Alright. He might have double colorless energy himself, though, so we gotta be careful here. What you got, Rod? Uh-oh. He's got a Charmeleon. Uh -huh. And we've seen the power of Charizard, so... Alright. Might be a mirror match here, Rod. Alright, alright. Uh, another fire. Hmm. Maybe I should put this on my Charmeleon to get ready for the Flamethrower Wars. Uh, or should I pump up this one? Hmm. Shh, let's get this one going. I got, I got, I got a good feeling that that's the right move. And uh, yeah, I might as well just slash and save my fire energy because uh, yeah, one more slash and we take King has gone out. Fetch. Okay. Okay. He's digging. He's digging deep. <laughs> Another gambler. Wow. Uh, well, I kind of like my hand, so... Yeah, let's just use Slash. The only reason I'm saving my energy is because it seems like a lot of people later in the game love energy removal, so... Oh. Yeah. Doesn't hurt to be safe. So he's got two water on this thing. So he can only use Slash, whereas we can use Flamethrower. Advantage? Us. Alright, so let's use a potion here on Charmeleon. And we'll put a fire. And a flamethrower. 
Now, what I am worried about is, you know, obviously we know how good Charizard is. Uh, is he gonna evolve here? That's... Oh, he got another Lapras. That's equally concerning. Well, he didn't put any energy on it, so maybe not. Wow, bro, are we gonna deck this guy out? Nah, I doubt it. We'll get the last prize, but, uh... Okay, okay. I mean, uh, honestly, I'm really glad to see him retreat. You know, because Charizard is dangerous, so, uh... But yeah, for now, let's just... You know, this guy's got the weakness on us, so let's just do as much damage to this thing as we can, so... Flame thrower, baby. Alright. Whew, man, Eevee. Eevee clutch, man. Really helped us pull this one back, so... Whew, boy, we got lucky in this one. Do we only have one prize left? Oh my god. Okay, well, I guess we just win. Alright, Charmeleon. Slash attack. Huzzah! Alright, and that's it. <laughs> nice dueling, uh, final Grandmaster. Alright, man, you couldn't even take... Dude, I'm running a fire deck. You couldn't take us down with Lapras, bro? Mm-mm-mm, shame on you. What, 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 what? What on earth? Even I, Rod, <laughs> have been defeated? I'm sorry, I'm so juvenile. Wonderful, this is wonderful. Congratulations, Floodmon14. Hey, thanks, bro. All right, so, uh, time to hand over the prize, right? Yeah, we beat everybody, so, uh, you know, we're done here. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give up the prize. You have proven yourself worthy enough to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards, except, dot, 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 aw, bro. Bro, this seems familiar. Are you gonna pull a lance from, you know, Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow? Except, uh, oh, we have a problem. There's another who has defeated us. You must go on him. Oh, boo. Okay, fine. Who is it? Who is it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's me, Rob. <laughs> I've already inherited the legendary Pokemon Corp. Uh, of course, of course. In true Pokemon fashion, the rival has beaten the Elite Four first, so... No, Ronald, that cannot be allowed. He, too, has the right to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Ronald, Flood, and Mon 14, you two must duel to determine the fate of the world. No, I'm just kidding. To determine who will inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. So say the rules. All right. Yeah. All right, Rod. <clears throat> Is your deck ready, Flood? Uh, prepare for the duel. Yes, I actually am going to save here. Alrighty, and we're gonna switch it up. You know what? We're gonna go with we're gonna go with the Zapdos stick. You know what? No, 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 no. You know what? We started this LP with the uh, Blastoise and Friends deck. So you know what? We're gonna go with our starting deck, Flooding Bonds Oasis. All right, all right. And now for the final, final, final duel. Is your deck ready, Flood? Uh, we're good. Yeah. All right, then let's begin this ultimate duel. All right. I will see the first legendary Pokemon cards belong to me. Yeah. I'll make it all too clear to you, Flood My 14. It's a one match duel with six prizes. Let it begin. All right, all right. And now we get the legendary Ronald deck. Hmm. All right. And this is it, guys. This is the final, 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 final battle for for all the marbles. Okay, let's see. We we'll start with Krabby, Articuno. Hmm. I think I'll go with Krabby, and we'll throw Articuno down. That's it. All right. And uh, you know, you might have been paying attention. As Ronald said, uh, he did inherit the legendary cards first. So uh, yeah, kind of dangerous, but yeah. Uh, there's one right there. We never even saw this from uh, Jack, but a uh, quick freeze when you put Articuno into play. Yeah, flip a coin of heads. Paralyzed. That sucks, but uh, yeah, you got pretty lucky there, so. Alright, Ronald. Alright. And tail wag. So, I mean, I'm already paralyzed, bro. I can't even attack next turn regardless, so that's, you know. Um, I guess I will put an energy on Krabby, though. I might just kind of thin the deck with the uh, call for family. Um, yeah, because we really, really don't have too many energy here, so I could stall a little bit with Vaporeon, huh? Well, you got some good draws. Focus energy. 
he has, so if he gets like a double colorless, he could kill us next turn, so, let's see, pump up uh, Articuno, or go with another Krabby, I think what I'm gonna do is, yeah, let's get Articuno going, yeah, and I will use Call for Family, let's see how many Krabby we got in here, one, just checking my deck here, uh, we got two more portal. Okay, one Krabby. We got a Blastoise in here too. Okay, just one Krabby. Let me double check, because obviously I don't want to waste this attack again. You know. Okay, so one's in the price box. Okay, good enough. Good enough. All right, there we go. What you got, Ronald? Energy removal. That's kind of annoying. Yeah. Huh. And he's gonna use focus energy again. Okay. Well, I hate to do it, but uh, that almost makes me want to give up on uh, even trying to use Iron Grip with Krabby. Um, hmm. Maybe I should save this for War Turtle? Hmm. Let's throw this other Krabby down, actually. Yeah. And we're going to skip. I might, may actually just stall him out here and scoop up on Articuna. Oh, okay, okay, that's, that's fine. So he's got that in the bank, so. Yeah, I may just uh, kind of stall out with uh, Krabby here until I can draw into some water energy. That may be the best bet we got, so. Okay, this on Articuno. Uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Ronald. So he's gonna be up two prices on us because of this, but uh, I really feel like that was the best move for us, honestly. So, Surf and Pikachu. Okay, we'll skip. Not getting too lucky with the, with the draw on this one, but it's all good. I'm sure we'll get a Water Energy here. Uh, now I'll throw out Articuno. Thanks, Krabby. Pokemon Trader. Okay. Honestly, this could help us by shuffling the deck and stuff. Let's put back... Hmm. I could also get Eevee here. If I just really want to. But no. Let's put back Surf and Pikachu. And I'll take Squirtle. There we go. Alright. And we've got some stall cards. We got Super Potion. We got time. We got time. This thing can only do 30 damage per hit, so... We got time. There we go. Alright, and I am going to evolve Squirtle right away. Just in case this guy's like packing a gust of wind. You never know. Freeze dry. Nice. Yeah, a little payback for that paralysis there, Ronald. <laughs> How you like that, buddy? Uh, energy removal. Dang, he had another one. Wow. Yeah, that kind of hurts, honestly. The energy removal is kind of hurting us. Uh, for some reason, he also didn't put Articuno back down yet. I wonder what he's waiting for. Nice, nice, okay. All right, well, we're gonna fix the energy problem right now, so let's, uh, Blastoise. Let's go ahead and heal up, uh, preemptively. Let me see, because I need to discard two for computer search. Yeah, yeah, let's heal. I got faith we'll draw at least two energy, so computer search. There we go. We'll get a Professor Oak here, obviously. Yeah. And Professor Oak. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, seven cards. Ha ha ha. And Rain Dance. Clutch as always. There we go. Uh, I could go for uh, Blizzard here, too. Hmm. Check my bitch. Huh. That wouldn't be a bad call here, honestly. I might get tails, but, uh, you know what? I'm okay with that. Blizzard. Okay. Alright. The main reason is because he's got, a uh, Dratini on his bench, which, uh, yeah, it's only got, a uh, 40 HP, so... Might be worth it, honestly. Uh, Peel of Thunder. Let's hope he hits his own Dratini. Oh, you hit your own Kangaskhan. Ooh, that's unlucky, Ronald. Whoops. <laughs> uh, Thunder Steve would never get that unlucky. Another Professor Oak. Okay. Uh, I got some Pokemon I want to evolve here, though, so let's throw Eevee down so I can go into Vaporeon. More Professor Oak next turn. Uh, there's really no point. Blizzard or... Well, I guess there is a point, actually. Yeah, we could go after Dratini. Let's do it. Let's do it. Blizzard. 
Ah, okay, okay. But the 50 damage is nice, so... But yeah, we'll, we'll keep trying, Blizzard. I know it is a little risky, but, you know, I think it's worth it. And, uh, at this point, Bill? Okay. So we've seen so far Articuno Legendary and, uh, Zapdos. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious Ronald does, in fact, have Moltres. Uh, luckily, he hasn't gotten Moltres. Oh. Well, yeah, if, at first you don't succeed, you just try again, huh? Yeah, luckily, uh, uh, he hasn't gotten Moltres yet, because actually, I think Moltres is the best one uh, for him, because, uh, yeah, I, as you can see, like, he mostly does have uh, fire energy, so, um, yeah, then without it, uh, you know, he obviously is getting less energy than he would normally have, so nice, nice. Trying to get a, get a hit on Dratini there, which is good, which is good. Yeah, I doubt he'll send Zapdos in, because, you know, oh, super energy retrieval. Wow, that's honestly pretty good. Uh, quick freeze, all right, so he's going for his Pokemon powers. Okay, Eevee's out here. And we've already seen Vaporeon, so I think he does have some of the other evolutions, but uh, we don't have to worry about it right now. So, um, and with that, we're about to take the lead. So, yeah, yeah. All right, so we've got Energy Retrieval. Hmm. I kind of want to keep this hand uh, now that we've gotten all the Energy Retrieval stuff. One thing I will do though is evolve this EV to Vaporeon since it hasn't been damaged. Uh, and we can really keep all the energy in our hand because, uh, yeah, Blastoise's Pokemon power is still active, so, yeah, let's just do that. Uh, Blitzer time. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna KO your Dratini from the bench, Ronald. What do you think about that, bro? All right, yeah, 10 damage to everything. There we go. The rolls are starting to pay off. All right. Squirtle, squirtle. All right, back to Kangaskhan. Fetch. That's that's fine, bro. He didn't even play an energy this turn, so yeah, we may be getting pretty lucky. Don't I have War Turtle? Oh my God! Wow. Well, our bench is ready. Let's uh, Blizzard. Ah, okay, okay. The only thing I do have to worry about here is him uh, scooping up, uh, you know, uh, Zapdos. Oh, I knocked out my own EV too. <laughs> Oops, I guess I have to worry about that, too, but, uh, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. If I had been paying more attention, I definitely wouldn't have done that, but, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Sorry, Eevee, my bad. Uh, but we will evolve, uh, War Turtle right here. Yeah, there we go. I guess I have to watch Blastoise's HP, too, but, you know, he's got, like, 70 left, so not too worried about that. And, in fact... I guess Krabby's close, but another 10 won't kill it, so... Nice, 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 nice. Alright, get some more damage on that Dragon Air. Uh-huh. Alright. And now, we take the lead again, Ronald. Water Energy. So, so far, Articuno's doing pretty good. Ah, there it is, Dragonite. So, yeah, this is his best Pokemon, Healing Lin. We never saw this, but Rod does have this card. When you put Dragonite into play, remove two damage counters from each of your Pokemon. Pokemon has fewer damage than them, remove them all. So, that's kind of why I was going after Jutini early on, but, you know, yeah, can't be helped, can't be helped. You know, he, he got it out, so fair play, fair play. Switch. I'm honestly glad to see this because, uh, yeah, as you see, he can paralyze you with Articuno from the bench. So, you know, you got to watch out for that. Uh, Krabby's still good. Let's Blizzard. Nice, 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 nice. All right, and he's not getting any energy, so let's just, yeah, keep doing... What was that? You guys heard that? Huh. Uh, everything seems fine. That was weird. The audio kind of glitched out for a second. Um, yeah, Blizzard, let's go. All right, Articuno over here performing the sweep, you know, much like uh, Magmar and Zapdos have done in previous episodes, but uh, uh, this one is a little closer than some of the other ones have been, so Dragonite, yeah, and he's got a lot of Pokemon out here that can stall. Uh, okay, okay. 
I was worried for a second, but then I remember in this game, for whatever reason, yeah, uh, uh, oh yeah, he can, he could go for slam. Yeah, for whatever reason, Articuno has no weakness in this game, so, I mean, you would think it'd be weak to fighting, because it's quad affected by rock, but, uh, whatever, you know? <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question this game's logic. Okay, what I will do here is go for the paralysis because I don't want him to switch. Nice. So if we can get him to stay in, we will win this duel and get the legendary cards. Now you. Oh, all right, guys. That's it. It's it's over. No need to do anything. We'll just blizzard and GG no re. Articuno, baby. Yeah. I knew it was a good idea to go with the uh, original starter deck. Yeah. What do you think about that, Ronald? Give me that last prize, bro. And that's it, guys. We won versus Ronald. Oh, whew. that feels good, man. We did it. We did it. No, man. How could I lose? How? I'm sorry, uh, Ronald, but the legendary Pokemon cards have chosen Bloodmon 14. Hey, <laughs> Ronald. The legendary Pokemon cards vanished from Ronald's deck. Oh, wow, wow. It's like they have a wheel of their own, like the uh, Egyptian God cards or something. N no, no, my, my, my legendary Pokemon's cards. No, no. Oh, see you, Ronald. <laughs> Congratulations, Floodmon14. You are a card master worthy of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards. Thank you, Rod. The legendary Pokemon cards recognize you as a true master. Nice. Now, go through to the Hall of Honor to receive the legendary cards. All right, and with that, you can, you're can you free to go ahead. And uh, But before that, let's uh, talk to everybody and see what they have to say here. What's up, Steve? Congratulations, you are the champ. My Zapdos card belongs to you. All right, what about you? Congratulations, my legendary card belongs to you. Please take good care of this card. I will, Courtney, I will. Please build a powerful deck around my card. You got it, Jack. All right, and uh, yeah, with that, I don't think there's anything else like over here. No, 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 but with that, let's go through to the Hall of Honor and see what's going on. Whoa. Shiny cards, uh, but before we check out the shiny cards, let's check out this. The legendary auto deck machine has been turned on. Would you like to build a deck? So, yeah, if you check out these decks, legendary Dragonite deck, yeah, you'll see uh, some of the cards that the Grandmaster used, like, uh, yeah, like, uh, you know, Rod, Courtney, Steve, uh, and Courtney. Legendary Moltres deck, yeah, you can kind of check out all the decks that are in here. Fire Giver, yeah. So, and, uh, but if you check out the Mysterious Pokemon deck, and this is like the only time in the game you get access to this, well, I guess you can't access it later, but, uh, yeah, Mysterious Pokemon deck, a deck made of very special rare cards. So, the rare cards in this deck, yeah, this is actually like a phantom card in this deck, which I don't think I'll be able to show off in this LP, but yeah, Venusaur with a solar power, yeah, once during your turn, uh, yeah, you may use this power, your active Pokemon and the defending Pokemon are no longer asleep, confused, paralyzed, or poisoned. That's a great Pokemon power. Uh, yeah, and then uh, it has Mega Drain, you know, kind of like Butterfree, but uh, yeah, Solar Power actually works really well with uh, the Vile Plume line in this game because Gloom can like confuse itself and, and so can uh, Vile Plume, so there you go. Um, also, another card we probably won't see in this game, I think it's this one? No, 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 I think it's this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Mew with a Mystery Attack. Yeah, the GB Mew. So this one's got 50 HP. And yeah, Mystery Attack does a random amount of damage to the defending Pokemon and can cause a random effect. So I think this attack can do like up to 120 damage and do a random effect like Paralyze or Poison. Pretty crazy stuff. Pretty crazy stuff. But uh, yeah, those are the two Phantom cards. That Mew and then the... Uh, the uh, Venusaur, so, uh, uh, I'm not sure where I'm at on time, but I am gonna basically give myself a little insurance policy here. Uh, I'm just gonna do a safe state right here, 
because I'm not sure if we have time for the credits to roll. Uh, but if not, I'll roll them in the next episode. But anyway, let's go here. The four legendary Pokemon cards float, glowing in the air. And, ah, uh, that's a good sound. We get the legendary card Moltres. Yeah, as we've seen from Courtney, it's got the Fire Giver, Dive Bomb, you know, first three for 70 is really good. And we get the uh, legendary Articuno, yeah, which we saw Ronald use. Uh, but as for its normal attack, yeah, Ice Breath, it works kind of like uh, one of Pidgeot's attacks, but it does 40 damage to uh, one random Pokemon without weakness and resistance. Yeah. Um, you know, as far as outright power, I'd say Articuno's the weakest, you know, in terms of that, but its uh, Pokemon power is pretty good, honestly, being able to paralyze from the bench. Uh, and yeah, we've seen Zapdos, you know, with the Peel of Thunder. Uh, but as far as its attack, yeah, Big Thunder, it's basically a gamble, yeah. Choose a Pokemon other than Zapdos at random, does 70 damage to that Pokemon. So it can be either yours or your opponent's, you know. As we've seen from Zapdos, it's kind of random. You know, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. But, uh, the obvious strategy with this... <laughs> the way you can cheese it is, uh, yeah, don't put any Pokemon on your bench. Just go with Zapdos solo uh, for your only active Pokemon. That way it only hits your opponent's Pokemon. Of course, sometimes you'll want to hit a certain Pokemon and you won't. So that's kind of a risk too, but, you know. That's probably the best strategy with Zapdos that I can advise. And just use, like, Defenders and stuff, Super Potions. Yeah, keep yourself healed, so... Uh, Dragonite, yeah, healing win, and it does have slam 30 times, flip two coins, so there you go. Alright, the legendary cards speak to you. What in the world? You who have, who have inherited us, great card master. Our master must not forget, inheriting us does not make you a Pokemon card master. A true Pokemon card master is the one who has the skill.